Hi everybody, this is Grace from Green City Growers and today I'm going to do a short demo on how to plant cover crop in your garden beds. So since I'm only planting into a small patch of soil here, all I'm going to need to do this is a small rake um, or a stirrup hoe if you have a larger piece of land and my cover crop. And today I'm going to be using field peas. Peas are a great cover crop, they add nitrogen to the soil and normally you want to combine it with a mixture of some type of grass that will also add nutrients back into the soil and help uh, build a good soil aggregation and root structure so that the soil does not get washed away um, when the winter snows start to melt. So I've already pulled my drip line away so that it's not going to be in my way when I'm using the rake. And another thing I've done is I've sort of broken up the soil a significant amount with the rake and also created kind of a deeper furrow in the main part of this patch here. You can see we're going to want to plant these peas an inch or two deep so that the birds don't get at them. So once you've done that, you can very simply just open up your bag of peas and take a handful. And this is what we call broadcast seeding. When you just taking a little pinch or a handful in this case of peas, you're just gonna kinda sprinkle it like you would salt or pepper onto your bed. And this isn't a super dense seeding, but you can plant a little denser since the point of the cover crop is to help, you know, retain that soil and build good organic matter in the soil over the winter time. So once I've done that, you can see the peas are super visible on the soil surface. And now we want to cover them up in order for them to germinate. And so that uh, pests and birds don't get at them and eat them because then we would have no cover crop. <laughs> So I'm just going to use my rake and incorporate these back into the soil and you can see I'm pushing kind of the mound that I had made sort of on this side to make sure that I'm really getting an inch or two of soil on top of these peas. And then you can further incorporate with the rake or the small shovel, trowel, uh, stirrup hoe, whatever you have. So I wanna do this until I can like really not see the peas anymore. Once I'm confident that they're pretty deep down there. And then I'm just gonna put my irrigation lines back on and I've successfully seeded some field pea cover crop. And yeah, with some incorporated uh, Crayers fertilizer, this will do great and produce a great um, field pea stand to fix nitrogen in the soil. Alrighty, everybody. I'll see you later.